and welcome to my kitchen and tonight we're gonna have a really quick and easy soup night I'm gonna make a tomato soup which you've seen me make before but tonight I'm gonna make a tomato and grilled cheese soup so what I've done is I thought you know we always have grilled cheese sandwiches with our tomato soup but then I also thought about how much I love French onion soup so I thought if I took my inspiration from French onion soup and combine that with tomato and grilled tomato soup and grilled cheese, then I could make an amazing grilled cheese and tomato soup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a creamy tomato soup that has a nice chunkiness to it, that has some veggies in it, and then we're going to toast up some Italian bread. We're gonna pop it on the top of the hot soup in a oven safe bowl. We're gonna top that with some mozzarella and provolone cheese. We're gonna pop it in the oven for a few minutes until it gets brown and bubbly. And we will have a delicious, tomato and grilled cheese soup, all in one bowl. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is go over the ingredients. And this is really quite a pantry meal. Um, I have a 28 ounce can of ground tomatoes. You can use crushed tomatoes, you can use unseasoned tomato sauce. I have two 14 ounce cans of petite diced tomatoes with their juice. I also have two 14 and a half ounce cans of stewed tomatoes with their juice. I have about four cloves of crushed or chopped garlic, one medium onion that I have just diced, tablespoon of dried basil, tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And I made some Italian rolls from my Italian bread recipe and I just cut them on the diagonal. And I don't know that my girls are gonna want this like this, but I think Rick and I are gonna have it like this. So I just cut up two rolls. I don't know that I'm gonna need all those pieces, but I'm sure that somebody will eat them. And I have some cheese, some provolone and some mozzarella slices. So I'm gonna move over to the stove and we're gonna put this soup together. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my onion and my garlic in here and get that sauteing briefly. Give it a good toss. I'm not even gonna puree this soup. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it be a little bit on the chunky side because I think that's nice. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add my seasonings in here now. My basil, my Italian seasoning. I want my onions to be a little more translucent, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna let these saute for a few minutes, and then we'll be back when the time is right to move forward. Okay, our onions and garlic and seasonings are where I want them to be. And I'm gonna add my crushed tomatoes. I'm gonna also add some water to this pan. About a half a can, I like to wash that out just because. Paid for it. That's right, we always say that, we paid for it. Give that a stir. I'm going to add my petite diced. Right in there. And I'm going to add my stewed, which I took my very impeccably clean kitchen scissors and I snipped all the way down into the can to chop them up. That way I didn't have to dirty another thing. So, so we've got five cans here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. And then when we come back, we're gonna add some heavy cream, which I forgot to mention at the beginning. It was out on my board for those of you who saw it, but I forgot to mention it. We're gonna add about a cup of heavy cream in here. We're gonna salt and pepper it to taste. And then we're gonna be able to fix up our delicious tomato and grilled cheese soup. And we're gonna pop it in the oven and get it all melty. And we'll be back when it's time to get all that stuff going. All right, we have simmered this for just about 20 minutes, and now the only other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a cup of heavy cream in here, and we're gonna give it a good stir. If you don't want the cream, then by all means, you can omit it. It's not that important, but I like a creamy tomato soup, and a cup is going to enhance this entire pot of soup. Oh, Ooh, bless you, sweetheart. Thank you. Yes, that looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, let's just gild the lily a little more. Let's give it another splash. You you can decide how pink you like your tomato soup. Mm. And like I said, I'm not gonna blend this. I'm gonna leave it chunky. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a quick taste for seasoning. I have some pepper off to the side here, and I want to I want I'm going to put pepper in here, but I want to taste it for salt. I think it could use some. Yeah, a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to just start with a teaspoon of salt. Of course, you can leave that out too if you don't prefer to use it. And about a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. i give this a good stir with our ladle. And then... Taste again. We'll taste it again. You can a tablespoon there. Huh? I tasted wood with the spoon. Oh, you tasted wood? <laughs> okay, Annie. I have turned the heat off also before I poured the, the heavy cream in there. Oh. That's good. That was nice. Oh, that's mm -hmm. really nice. Mm. Okay. So. I'll show you what I've done. I have my little toasties here. I have a piece of the toasted Italian bread down in the bottom. And I'm going to ladle some soup over the top here. Just like that. On both of these. I'm going to, I cut these on an angle, right? So now they won't fit mm. in the uh, round cups. <laughs> but that's all right. We'll make it work, right? Mm -hmm. We'll just make it work. And because I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese on the top here, I am not even going to worry about um, that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here with some mozzarella and some provolone and since I have a slice of each here left I'll just go ahead and mix this up here. Can't have too much cheese. Yeah. I guess that depends on who you talk to. Mm. <laughs> All right. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. Very important to make sure that your soup mugs are oven safe. Okay? You don't want these to be uh, fragile. You don't want them to crack in the oven. Into the oven. Just until that cheese melts and turns a little bit brown. We'll bring it back when it's time to pull them out. These are ready to come out. And look at that. Now, you're going to want this to cool off for just a minute before you dig in because you will certainly burn three layers of skin off the roof of your mouth if you try and eat it right now. Looks so good though. So we are going to meet you over at the counter in a just a moment. All right, here we are, ready to serve this up for supper. Really, all you need with this is this and maybe a salad if you're going to have a salad on the side. But look it. Look at who isn't going to love that? Toasty bread and that soup down in there. It's just beautiful. Creamy and chunky tomato soup that we just made. It's going to be delicious and delightful and you're going to love it. Okay, so there you have it. That is my inspiration being my French onion soup. But tonight we're going to call it grilled cheese and tomato soup. So uh, I can't wait to dig in. I know my girls can't wait to dig in either. So that's what we're having for dinner. I hope you try this. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook 
and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, NareenSKitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!